I encourage you today to die to self. Then, and only then, once we come fully to God, once we take the next step in God, once we get closer to him in this walk, this relationship, he appoints us. And he wants to grant us the ability to have authority. And this is what we've been lacking, the authority from God. You need your appointment on this week. You need, a God to, you need to ask God for your appointment. God, appoint me to the office of authority. Appoint me to the place, Lord God, that I don't fear. I don't run from demons. I, I simply respond to them. I don't re react to people and their emotions. I simply respond under the Holy Ghost. And we want authority, but God says, what I'm giving you, this empowerment, is not for you to just look at something, to see something, but to drive it out. You'll do somebody a favor if you cast a demon out. Hallelujah. But you got to know, you got to identify, you got to see what it is. You got to operate in the appointment, the authority of God, and cast that thing out. And from that point, come on now, deliverance has come. Don't wait for folks to get to church because they may not make it. Hallelujah. Some people may die on the outside. Hallelujah. Because they never made it in. But here's the blessing of the Lord. We are kingdom agents. Yeah. And when we leave this huddle, come on now, it's a break in. This is what we've really been dealing with, my people. Let that resonate. You've not been dealing with people. It's been, listen, spiritual activity, spiritual warfare. The Bible says in heavenly places. Because of Satan himself, Lucifer, he is the prince of the air. Uh, but God is king of kings and lord of lords. And when we say pull down some high things, we got to begin to tap into this realm and begin to tell Satan, no. You're not going to listen. That thought that came from, from the enemy, no, I'm pulling it down in Jesus' name because we have authority. And that about wraps it up. Hallelujah. God is strong and he wants you strong. So take everything the master has set out for you. Well-made weapons. I'm talking about prayer. I'm talking about fasting. I'm talking about your scripture. Hallelujah. Well-made weapons of the best materials. And put them to use. Oh, we have so much artillery we're not using. We have some artillery that we're haphazardly using. We, we haphazardly pray. We, we haphazardly uh, read our scripture. We haphazardly uh, uh, call those things to be not as though they were. Hallelujah. But put them to use so you will be able to stand up to everything. Not some things, but everything the devil throws your way. Come on now. I don't want to just win some battles. I want to defeat. I want to win the war. I want you to start getting it in your mind right now. You're in the fight of your life. Not for your life, but the fight of your life. There's a difference. This isn't just pertaining to you. A lot of times this is dealing with people that you care about, people that you're concerned with. Hallelujah. This is the fight of your life for somebody else. Woo. If you only knew that you were a deliverer, if you only knew you were a Moses, hallelujah. The children of Israel kept wondering. There's some people in our family and our homes that are wondering, and they don't have a clue which way to go, which way to turn. But, oh, Moses, I need you to hold out your rod. I need you to part some ways. Oh, but you need to hear my voice, saith the Lord. Moses, you need to be led of me. Hallelujah. You need to walk in your appointment. You need to stand in your authority and say what thus saith the Lord. Just simply respond. You don't have to react. I know some things look crazy. They look overwhelming. But God is saying in this season, it's time to simply respond. If you'll say this, it's his fight to the finish. You get that settled. It's his fight to the finish. It's not mine. Come on, you, you've just joined a fight that's already been in operation. You just join as you come into spiritual awareness, as you come into the word of God and, and the depth of the word of God, you're coming into a fight that's already been won. It's a fixed fight, but you're in it. Hallelujah. It's a fixed fight, but we're in it. Hallelujah. But keep this in mind, it's fixed. We win. As a believer, no matter what the onslaught, no matter how many weapons formed against you, they will not prosper, they, they will not work, because I've got the breastplate of righteousness, I've got the helmet of salvation. But hear me, you got to stay in the realm, you got to stay in the spirit. But some things you have to continue to walk in for your own protection. Now, 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 and now if something happens, we got to go down the list and start checking off. Well, were, you, were you in a place in a season of salvation? Or were you outside of the will of God? Hallelujah. A lot of stuff happens and people want to blame God. And how could God uh, allow this to happen? Listen, the weapons of our warfare, they're not carnal, but they're mighty to, through God. God is telling us how we got to fight this next season. Is, are you fully covered, hallelujah, with the armor of God? 
Because if you're not, the enemy is going about seeking whom he may devour on a daily basis. He wants to annihilate you. And if he can take you out, listen, he, he's got your family. Because you're the only light in that house. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live. The old me is dead. The present me is dead. Because the present me right now probably wants to, to just choke somebody out. And I can't do that. I no longer live. But Christ who lives in me. Grand finale. Hear this. When a man's ways please the Lord. Thank you, Master. When a man's ways, when a woman's ways please the Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. He makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. Hallelujah. That's the response God's looking for. He don't want you to fight anybody in this season. All he simply wants you to do is please him. We, all he wants you to do is acknowledge him in all your ways, and he's going to direct your path. Thank you, Lord God, that every demon, every imp, Lord God, is trying to lodge itself in hope, Lord God. We cast them out right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you for your empowerment. We thank you for your appointment today, Lord God, to bring us to a new place of authority, Lord God. A demon slayer, Lord God, behind us. Lord God, that when we hear and when we sense, Lord God, unclean spirits, Lord God, We'll tell that thing where to go. Come out in Jesus' name. Come on. Here are no paw no, but who are you? I'm a child of the king. Hallelujah. I'm a child of the king. And he's got my back. Hallelujah. Just know that when you look that thing in the face, hallelujah, that thing has to see the God you serve. Hallelujah. Grace and mercy is behind you. Jesus stands before you. So when you come in the name of Jesus, come on, demons tremble. Come on, habits tremble. Emotions tremble. Hallelujah. Yes, God, yes. 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 Move by your spirit, God, in our homes. Thank you, Lord God, for a move of God. We need a move, God. Back at home. On our jobs. Everywhere we go, we need a move. Thank you for authority, Lord God. I hear the Lord saying, the move starts with you. Come on, I know when we come to worship, there's an environment. But God is saying, your response is going to create a move of God right where you are. Your response, not your reaction, but your response. Hallelujah. Your response is key. Your response is key. Lord, I'm behind it. Yes, God. Thank you for the move of God. I hear the Lord saying, the move of God is in your mouth. It's in your mouth. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Come on, demons are going to bang your prayer up at you. But there's no Lord. The Lord has given you all power. He lives on the inside of you. And you have kingdom authority to tell it where to go. Don't let it linger. Hallelujah. Get out of your position, your role in homes. Take on your new role today. Kingdom agent. One who has authority. God has appointed you today for authority. No demon in hell can stop you. 